link your Discord up and pop on into the subs Discord. Always lots of good stuff going on in there. All right, so Sultai, mid-range food, reasonable magic cards, top deck. We've got the food package that was recently banned out of standard in Gilded Goose, Oko, Wicked Wolf. We've got a couple of Hydroid Crisis at the top end of our curve for when we flood out a little bit because our deck does have a lot of mana in it. We've got Gilded Goose and Elves and then 23 lands. We also are trying out Fauna Shaman here, which is one of the cards that was injected directly into Historic via those 20 new cards. You can discard a creature card to search your library for a creature card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. I'm not sure that this card is actually very good. So I'm interested to see how it plays out. I know in higher powered formats like Modern, this card frequently feels very lackluster. Like needing to discard specifically a creature feels medium. Like if it could turn lands into, if it could turn lands into creatures, that would be good. But I think the fact that it requires creatures might make it a little bit too, too weak. Interested, interested to see how it goes. Let's go go on in with an open mind and see how things feel. Yes, yeah, it does it does turn your mana creatures into into things in the late game. I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure that like that's better than just like playing more hydrate crisis. Because like crisis turns your mana dorks into cards in like a roundabout manner, if that makes sense. Can Sultai drag us kicking and screaming back up into out of being a percentage gamer before red white land destruction sends us right back down? There and therein lies the question. And you get an elf, and you get an elf, everybody gets an elf. Interesting. I guess I'm just killing their 5-5. Five five. I'm gonna get like. Nissa next turn and be sad though. Yeah, I mean we played, I would I would recommend starting with the the four color oven deck that we played. That we played in standard probably. Guard's really good. Okay, gas grizzly bear. Yep. These are great until we draw an Oko. I don't really have any creatures this is useful to turn into, right? I think I just need to play this. It's my second black source for Murderous Rider here. Honk, honk. We need a Venge Vine, right? I mean, like, this card is awful against Oko, right?
Oh, I'm so dumb. There's a castle sitting right here. Well, yeah, I think we're, I think we're dead. I don't think, I don't, we don't really have a good, good play there. Rex Sage and Brontodon probably aren't useful here. Extra trophy sounds good. Cast down sounds great. Um, Golgari Queen probably doesn't line up very well into what they have going on. <sighs> Disdainful Strokes probably not the axis I want to fight this matchup on. The other, the other thing too is um, getting getting your Vraskas contempted. Veil of Summered sounds vomit inducing. So as long as Veil is legal here, contempt's probably not playable. Hope they hope they ban Veil in this format too. Just like slowly eradicate that stain of a card from just like everywhere possible. Just get it, get it all gone. Ooh. Maybe the real 3 3 elk was the cats we baked along the way. Um, I don't think there's any creatures I can find that make this a good seven, right? MTG Master J, thanks for the brand new tier on sub. Welcome to Hoaglandia. Hope you're having an excellent day wherever you are. And there's all my colors though. If I find Murderous Rider or Wicked Wolf, it's kind of okay. The Utility Land too. Even Goose isn't terrible. Um, I'm going to take the Questing Beast. I think I just want a piece of action here. No Hostage Taker. That's an A-plus suggestion. We are going to... We are going to add one of them in after this game. That sounds great. We probably, probably cut the, the Rex Sage or the Brontodon because Hostage Taker also answers artifacts. I got my free once upon a time spell pierced yesterday and I wasn't sure how to feel about that. Yeah, like when um in Pioneer, when I'm playing against blue decks, if I really need a once upon a time to resolve, I will frequently cast it during their first upkeep. Yeah, but we have both Reclamation Sage and Brontodon in my main deck, Brozu, so I probably don't need both. Uh, assuming no one else cuts the line, Red White Land Destruction will be the, the next deck we play. See, I, I think I'd rather cut Rex Sage, Bob. I know Rex Sage is better when you're looking to destroy specifically enchantments, but like Brontodon's just the generic the better generic game one card. And like, like Mono Red's a deck in this format, and like Brontodon's like genuinely very good against Mono Red. I think I think I'll definitely keep Rex Sage in the board. But like drawing drawing a two one is like pretty unplayable. Yeah, like, like, don't get me wrong. I agree that Rex Sage is much better when, like, you're explicitly looking to kill things or kill enchantments. But, like, the downside of drawing a 2-1 game one really sucks. I guess... I guess part of the flip side is this doesn't half... Like, Fauna Shaman means I can bin the 2-1 some of the time. So maybe, maybe that's a consideration. Veil me, daddy. All right. So I'm going to Fauna Shaman and get 
wolf here because I think they have a veil and I don't want them to veil me killing the killing the egg. They want to trade both their dorks for a questing beast. I'm okay with that. They do not want to. Yeah, like they haven't shocked one of shaman, so I'm pretty sure this pauses. They have Veil of Summer, and they just wanted to like get my murderous rider when I untapped. I just draw two here. You're such a good boy, Krasis. Do we know if Watsi intends to ban cards within Historic the same way they do in other formats? You mean like, will there be a ban list? I'd assume. Not just like everything such as gonna be like a free-for-all. If the if the format's unhealthy, I, it gets in a health unhealthy spot, I'd expect them to manage it. All right, so this is a cleave, right? Yeah, they did. They did also say that. They said because this format is primarily digital, they're going to be experimenting with managing it in a, in a different way than they have other formats in the past, which I think is a net positive. Should have played a tapped land here. I didn't realize I didn't have a fifth black. So I like played an untapped land for no reason. I let on the Veil of Summer there because I'd rather Veil of Summer get countered than Murderous Rider get countered. So this attack means they have to trade here, chump here, go to two. Oh, they could do this too. Yeah, I think that's fine though. So definitely should have played this tapped land that last turn ended up not mattering. Huh? So they're a little bit smaller like, their deck's a little bit lower to the ground than I was expecting them to be. Do I want some number of Vraska? Have I been enjoying Historic? Yeah, I mean, like, for a lot of people who only... If you're only playing Magic digitally and you're not interested in gambling while you play, like... Historic and Pioneer aren't that dissimilar. Like, Pioneer's getting better paper support and has events on Magic Online, but, like, if you're just mostly playing casually anyways, they're, they're pretty close to, like, the same thing. And I definitely enjoy playing Magic Arena more than I enjoy playing Magic Online. The, the rate of play on Arena is just so much faster. My timing is bad. I should wait till they wait till my turn. It's going to be okay though. Yeah, yeah, they had they did they did change their announcement. They said they're going to eventually work towards making Wow, that's rude. I was like, "Oh good, no red mana. My goose lives." Nope. Goose definitely does not live. Yeah, yeah, they changed their tune. 
They saw the feedback on... They saw the feedback on Pioneer, and they, they said they'd be silly not to eventually try and put it on this client. Well, this means they don't have a play this turn, right? Nice tap land. This looks way too smooth for a read. Now, it does lag out eventually. I do like that MTGO doesn't have a ladder. I think ladders discourage play. Your statement is bad and you should feel bad. Um, Magic, Magic Arena literally has the exact same setup as a league style system. Like the, the constructed events are the exact same thing that you're saying you like about Magic Online. So it doesn't make sense to praise Magic Online for something Magic Arena also does. The only thing Magic Online Leagues do that Magic Arena doesn't allow you to do is Magic Online Leagues are literally gambling because you can cash money back out of them. So Magic Arena doesn't let you gamble, but it does let you play in exactly that same way that you're saying you like about Magic Online. And, and you get to do it for much cheaper on Magic Arena. On Magic Online, those leagues cost $10 to play. Here, they cost much less than that. I guess I just don't understand your statement then. Like, if you like, if you know that Arena does that and you like that, why is it worth commenting? I did not buy the Dragon Pet. My assistants are painfully sloppy. Painfully sloppy. Let me go ahead and ride her this burning tree mystery, I think. I would like the dragon pet. I would like the record to reflect that the dragon pet is not a whale item. They let you purchase the dragon pet for gold. The dragon pet is a pleb pet. The, the whale pet are the pets you have to pay money for. So before all the people out there get uppity and try and challenge my whale status, you're not whales and you don't understand. Get on, get on my level. The dragon's not exclusive enough, exactly. I need, I need a literal whale pet. Super dead timber cleave. Pretty dead to that, too. Man, we've been really bad at drawing Oko this set, huh? Are there even Okos in my deck? I feel like, I feel like there's not even Okos in my deck. The dragon pet is 20k gold. So we're gonna go to four and our murderous rider's gonna die. I think we're dead here. It can be bought with gems as well. Feels dead, man. All right, I don't think it would have changed the outcome of that match, but let's get a hostage taker in here. I think that's a good suggestion if we're gonna have a little, a little fauna shaman tutor package. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Bob. Like, their deck, 
Their deck literally can never beat Noko. And we went three games in a row without Noko. They managed to win one of them. Just how it goes. The deck, the deck editor alleges for Oko. Oko. Oko secretly soft banned in Historic. They just like, you just don't draw them if you put them in your deck. Shuffler tinfoil hands out. We did, I feel like we drew enough cards in those games to have drawn a Noko if the Shuffler, the Shuffler wasn't ranked. I feel, yeah, my feelings are valid. You gotta consider all sides, dude, like. To be fair and balanced, you have to give every side a chance. Are you bi are you biased? Does big does big shuffler have you in its pocket? Are they paying you off? Ooh, Oko. I only kept because the hand has Oko in it, and I was worried I didn't have him in my deck. You think Pioneer will make its way to Arena? According to Wizards of the Coast, it's gonna make its way to Arena. I would be incredibly surprised if Pioneer was on Arena before three years from now. Luckily, all the money Big Shuffler sends by way, I just funnel back into you playing bad decks. I blame you for all the Teamer Walkers mirrored I've played in Historic the last few days. Sorry, not sorry. All right, I think we just auto pay does work. Look at that. I think we just kill Worthy Knight here. I think Arena coming to OSX is an easier undertaking than Arena getting Pioneer. I think I think it's incredibly likely that Arena comes to OSX. Brontodon, gonna hang out and look much better than Reclamation Sage here. Do I want to make a 3-3 three, three, or do I want to take their 2-2? Two, two? I think I just want to take their 2-2. Two, two. Maybe this is wrong just because it risks Oko dying. Of course, they probably have Murderous Rider, so I'm risking it dying regardless. Like, could, could just die regardless. They don't have, they don't have cleave mana here. This is uh, this is a weird attack. You have some kind of combat trick here. Oh yeah, that makes sense. All right, my blocks suck. I'm bad, and I should feel bad. That's true. We were playing a list that did not have Murderous Rider. I forgot about that. I'm going to hold on to this Land War Elf because it can uh, discard this Fauna Shaman next turn.
I don't know. Arena works fine under under underwind, so I'm not super worried about it. So they can't activate Castle Emberth currently, so that's nice. So I think we're going to throw a goose under this bus here. Trade, eat, jump, eat, block, block. This only gives knights death touch, right? And these aren't knights, so I can block here just fine. Uh, after after review, Lavin, I'm accepting most historic decks right now, but occasionally people do send me things and I, I, I decide not to play them for whatever reason, so prefer you don't send me money until I give you a heads up. Usually, you, you should get an email letting you know yes or no uh, later tonight. I do do deck, do deck submission reviews as one of the last parts of my my daily ritual. Can someone make a command about the pleb pet so I don't have to keep explaining that it's a pleb pet? Oh dear. I think I'm just gonna Vraska eat the Stormfist Crusader here. Because if, if, if we take their gas away, I feel like we're in a much better spot with our Planeswalker, right? And I played a tap land rather than an untap land, because rather than make a food, I'm going to discard the elf and find a toy. Were they playing Arena last summer when we had... I was... I was not. I, uh... I picked up Arena when they, uh... When they hit open beta. Alright, so I have to put three blockers... On all of these. I think I'm just throwing away another goose here. This seems fine. They could have an Embercleave here. I don't know. Like, they're just pretty far behind on my Planeswalker, so I think even if they don't have an Embercleave, they're pretty forced to make an attack here. I remember when you couldn't buy packs, if you opened Scarab God in your earned or gifted packs, you straight up won all of your games. That sounds awful. I think, I think we just steal their thing. That can like activate their knight even. Yeah, Steely Dan for sure. Is that one good? I think that one might be good too. It's garbage time. You don't have to go home, but you can't play here. Do 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 do. How oh, did they kill Bronte already? Oh wait. Now that looks like an elk to me. So everybody, just come and see. It's a plus one, not a minus three. How'd I get past Motsi's R and D? Yo, that looks like an elk to me. So everybody, just come and see. Do 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 do. I was like, oh no, a card I can't answer. LOL, JK. JK, LOL. I like that he laughs when he elks things. He's just like, BT dubs. Dear. Na 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 Oko, I like Oko. Oko leans into it. He knows what he knows what he's doing.
That's true. Could also could also just rask it. Oh dear. If they don't block Knight with the 3-3, three, three, I'm just going to go ahead and let, let, let it take one so we can make a food this turn. The long con is putting the icon on Elk, lol. I think they did... Like like many parts of Arena, they've done a really good job with the sound design. The voice the voice lines on the play on most of the planeswalkers are really well done. Some good some good dad jokes, some good one-liners. Power and toughness equal number of creatures you control. When it attacks, create a 2-2 two -two knight equal the number of opponents you have. That's a six drop. Sure, you have a six mana spell. Why do you think my opponent paid six mana for an elk chat? Seems kind of loose. I'm not quite sure why you would. Why you would invest that much mana into an elk? What's a dad joke? Uh, jokes become a dad joke when they become a parent. I have I have two children, Chad. I can make that joke, okay? I am I am allowed to make that reference here. Man, our our opponents in in the percentages today are just like they've not been quitters. We're just like super far ahead, just never gonna give us up. Alright, we just go get like a hydroid crisis and hydroid crisis for infinite, right? Just gotta gotta gas up here. Mmm. Mmm. Trigger. Aren't they dead if I play the... Are you aware... Are you aware that if I kill my opponent, I am required to stop drawing cards? Because the way you asked your question, I feel like you are unaware that if they die, I'm required to stop drawing cards. You know, puns were considered the height of comedy for a large portion of history. I propose that dad jokes are simply the logical evolution of that wit. That was, that was, we fit, we hit the point of no return. All right, cry sounds great. Trophy may or may not be good. Hostage shaker's wonderful. Um, what am I getting rid of here? Need like six cuts. Questing Beast is probably out. It's awkward in multiples because it's legendary. It's kind of expensive. Yeah, maybe Fauna Shaman is just like not great. Then also, it also dies to cry. All right, yeah, I'm going to trim on that. I don't think I really need a ton of utility in this matchup. In paper, when the wolf fights other 3-3... You need to say you're holding priority to sack the food before the fight, correct? Uh, not, not really. You can, in, in paper, you could just, like, communicate what you're doing. You'd be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play my wolf, I'm gonna target your thing, I'm gonna sack a food, do it. You can just say it like that. The Fauna Shaman foil, you had to play some kind of event to get it, apparently. And they don't want my money, so they won't let me pay them for the foil.
The event, the event was best of one. I just, I just really don't do best of one. Just not my thing. Sad, sad whale noises, yep. Usually the card styles for events can be bought with gold at a later date. Here's open. I will enjoy you. You must be famished. I'm not certain if Fauna Shaman is good. In higher powered formats, Fauna Shaman has not been playable. But again, historic, I would expect to be a lower powered format than some others. Choose a creature you control. If that creature gets plus two, plus one, if it's a knight, those fight each other. Well, that was rude. Chat, if they joust my food, they're going to get to kill Oko. If they have another joust, Oko will die. Mezip, thank you for the three quarters of a year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Sweet. All right. This is probably GG. I feel like if we untap with Oko here, they're pretty unlikely to pull through. Gobble, gobble. Who's afraid of the big bed wolf? The big bed wolf. The big bed wolf. Oh, you're right. They would trade, right? Because it's a fight. Yeah, you're super right. I don't know what these cards do. Come on now. It's the first time I've ever read that magic card. Don't judge me. What, ain't nobody got time to read cards like Joust, chat. I would love to trade a food for your 4 4. Don't mind if it does. Wolf is hungry, chat. Gobble, gobble. One bite, and all, your cares are gone. all your cares are gone. One bite, one opportunity. We get to play a 4 4 crisis next turn and gas up. Yeah, yeah, the opponent's deck has a number of unique choices in it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going up. Up, up, and away. If they have, like, Murderous Rider or Noxious Grasp, it's a little bit better to cash out Goes Loyalty in for some value here, but for the time being, I think it's pretty reasonable. Yeah, their, their mana base seems a little ambitious too. They're playing unclaimed territories and tournament crowns, but they have Castle Embrith. I'm so confused. They have, uh, do they have Embercleave? They just have that again, sure. You, you killed my Krasis. Uh, they've not, I don't think we've seen Fable Passage out of them. Something wicked comes this way, chat. Games, games like these are why there's a garbage time emote. Do, 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 do. I 
Thankfully, thankfully, Oko closes relatively quickly. So it's not like we're playing the blue-white deck. We're just, like, dirtling with the Tefri. They're going to get run down relatively fast. I think I'd rather the Goose and the Murderous Rider just because it pumps out food every turn. Why does he transform artifacts? I mean, well, obviously he transforms artifacts so that way he can transform the food. Like, this card was very clearly designed to be self-enabling. Gosh, that card would be really good if they... But it wasn't about to add it to my trophy case. Are we done now? Is standard still a clown fiesta? To set an incredibly low bar, I think the current standard format is better than Eldrain Standard 2.0. Eldrain, Eldrain Standard 3.0 seems reasonable. I don't know. I like non-rotating formats. Well, all things considered, if we get equal amounts of historic and standard submissions, and the formats are similarly popular, I think I'm going to do slightly more Historic than Standard. Definitely. Definitely prefer non-rotating formats myself. It's more fun to like. Find decks that you really love and latch onto them and tune them for forever. It's my favorite format right now. Probably Pioneer. Historic. Historic's growing on me. Be interesting to see how they choose to manage this format. YOLO Swaggins. No fear, chat. There is no fear in this dojo. None. Zilch. Not up. All right. Hit one. Hit me, dealer. There we go. There we go. Poor little elf is very dead. Glad we drew a second land. Ooh, not dead. Alliance, eh? I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. Welcome to the Just play, play merchant was their best line there, huh? Yeah, super, super unlucky. Can you, can y'all believe that we missed our third land drop here? Shuffler obviously rigged against us. I, for one, will be filing a complaint. Making my voice heard in the Shuffler Truth or Thread on Magic Arena. What more proof do you need, chat? Kept an O-lander and missed my third land drop on three. Every problem has a solution. Let's start by taking you out of the equation. This card in your alliance deck seems real weird. Alright, if we draw an untapped land here, we get to kill this. Unfortunate. Let's 
broaden your existence. I think the Phoenix and Alliance is just like trying to appease too many masters. I think the Phoenix decks really need to have a critical mass of spells to make Phoenix work. And when you like add in another thing, it's just not good enough. Biden and Thassa is whenever a creature you control deals damage to a player, you draw a card. Each of the dealing damage to a planeswalker triggers the ability. I don't I don't think that's correct. Whenever you're confused on something like that, Chewy, you can always look up the Oracle text of cards on the Gatherer. Would be would be my recommendation. There were some birds, yep. Yep. Questing beast mana. <sighs> Hey, look, a distraction. Oh, dear. Whenever I'm down, I just look at this. Yeah, remember that those people actually exist. It's funny to think about people that silly, but then you remember that those people are allowed to vote and their vote is just as valuable as yours and it turns from funny to sad really quickly. One of those, one of those like, oh no moments. Thanks, now I'm depressed, yup, sorry. They vote, they drive cars and they own guns, yep. That's painfully accurate. That's true too. There's a lot of there's a lot of them that live in states that have huge tracts of land, which makes their vote worth more than mine and a lot of other people's. I had the students discussing global warming opinions. I'm having parent teacher conferences today and I had the same thought. God. Fun fun fact. The reason I pursued my master's degree after student teaching at, at a high school wasn't because of the students. It was definitely because of the parents. Captain said I thanks for the 28 months. I welcome back. Yeah, global global warming opinions are a lot like the anti-vax issue. As a culture, we put too much emphasis on hearing all sides of an argument, even when one side of that argument is nonsense. And it gave, it gave platforms and positions to very stupid, very dangerous things. All right, so I think I just Wicked Wolf the Merchant to cut off their cheap way to trigger the Improbable Alliance, and then next turn I GM Questing Beast down their throat. The problem is we're dead in two to these Phoenixes, and they just have like a string of chump blockers. We did here. I guess I no, I can't even do this. And this, I guess uh, hydrate crisis means I'm not dead, right? No, because I'm still gonna die to these. If I play this, I'm I'm one point short. If I play this, because they block, they block and they take ten.
News also skews it to make climate change look like a debate between scientists at a one-to-one -one ratio because they get two to talk on TV, but reality, it's the only the outliers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, we got Cry in the Canarium. That's very good here. Cast Down sounds good. Rex Sage sounds wonderful. Maybe Trophy's good. What's not good? Hostage Shaker seems pretty mediocre. Wicked Wolf seems bad too, right? Like it kills their... It kills their 2-3, but, like, that's about it. We're going to try drawing a third land this game. Sounds like strong advice. I think I'm, again, just going to cut Fauna Shaman when I'm bringing in these cries. That seems reasonable. I think we have enough, enough closing power still with Oko plus the creatures we have. Lands add a lot of ag agility and corpulence to our draws, which synergizes with winning. Corpulence, that's one I haven't heard before. It's a good one. I have to add add that rep one into the vocabulary. Yeah, we did well on land. On land one and two, things were looking up. And we quickly, quickly slid, do slid downhill from there. Uh, I guess I play this and just make a food this turn, huh? Wow, murderer. I think I'd rather Rex Sage than Vraska. Because if I play Vraska and down tick her, she just dies to. She just dies to a phoenix. And I think I'd rather play Vraska and plus to like draw some cards. Love historic format feels great. I've been enjoying it, money boy. Yeah. Yeah, the all sides are the same argument. Something we've talked about a number of times here. The... The all sides are the same argument is one that people use to justify voting for people who are terrible. Because if they're all terrible, they didn't have a choice. And the choice was removed from them. So rather than like being informed, they just like take their head and bury it in the sand. Yeah, it's, it's very it's very much peak enlightened centrism. Look at that. We cast a questing beast this game and we might win. Although their lava coil could be in our future. Let's start with this. Here we go. Oh, the places will go. Do I think any centrists are honest? I think there are people who haven't put forth the effort to get informed or have been lied to and don't realize they've been lied to that think of themselves as centrists. But I think anybody who's actually informed on the current political climate in the United States and what people actually stand for in the, between the different politicians will quickly realize that the Democrats represent the left and the center and the Republicans are just to the right at this point. You think a number of centrists are people who realize that you get ostracized for supporting the GOP in certain places, so they claim to be a centrist to try and avoid that that cast being cast out in that way. Rude. So, do I jam Murderous Rider here? Or am I supposed to just eat some food? I think I'm supposed to play this 
because it gives me lethal through their blocker. How far left am I? Um, I am what Fox News would describe as a frothing at the mouth, filthy liberal. I, I hold strong opinions like people shouldn't go into crippling debt because they were unlucky enough to get sick. I think, I think we should listen to scientists who say that climate change is real and we should address it. I think that people shouldn't own firearms that can kill dozens of people in a matter of seconds for fun. Those are, those are my positions on the, on the big ones. Human rights are a communist plot. Yep. Is the widget broken for Stream Decker again? Did Twitch break it? Stream Decker widget's broken. If you'd like exclamation point deck in chat, you'll get a link to the necklace. There's also a link under the stream if you're not a sub. Let me ping the Stream Decker guy. This happened once before and it was something Twitch broke. <sighs> the other is offering solutions that don't work. Citation, citation needed. It's some it's some very serious fud. Not a not a big fan of the fud around these parts. I'm gonna not run my planeswalkers into spell pierce here. What about the means of production who should own them? I don't think I get that meme. Now, cooking my goose here does make spell pierce harder to play around, which sucks a little bit. I think, I think I'm pretty solidly in the billionaires existing as a failure as, of us as a society camp. No, I think Joe, nothing should fundamentally change Biden should, I think, I really hope he doesn't get the nomination. Really, really hope status quo Joe is not the person the Democrats run. I think that would be bad. Did I just tap off of trophy? Yeah, I didn't double check the auto tapper. I tapped off of trophy. That's a mistake. I guess the elf technically leaves up trophy here, but... Who do I like for the Democratic primaries? Uh, Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders? I think most of the non-Biden candidates, if aside from the billionaires and Biden, I really would be happy with most of them. My, my biggest, if Bernie was a decade younger, I'd be all in on Bernie. But Bernie is very old. Bernie's Bernie's age is at a point where he could have a real health problem just from So his Bernie's running mate is is a big deal. If if Bernie, Biden or Trump win the general election in 2020, any of them would be the oldest sitting president ever. 
That's true. Tulsi, Tul I don't, Tul Tulsi is, Tulsi's like not even really a Democrat. Is, is the, the painful truth. The not so painful truth, the obvious statement. She also, she also like doesn't realistically have a chance. So like, I'm not really concerned. I also, I also think Gabbard is like, far enough to the right that if she does try and play third party spoiler she might actually pull GOP votes which wouldn't be the worst she might she might pull never Trump Trump voters from the right that just like weren't going to vote Democrat regardless Activate castle? No. I think it takes, takes more mana than that. I think Warren's fine. I like Bernie a little bit more because he's not taking corporate donations, and I think that's ideal. But I would be I would be happy with Warren. I like Warren's educational background. I think I think Warren is uniquely qualified to address some of the socioeconomical issues in this country based on her education. What does next Jill Stein mean? When people refer to that, um, Jill Stein in 2016 absorbed votes from people who typically voted Democrat. And if every swing state you took the Jill Stein votes and added them to the Democratic vote, they would have won most of those swing states in the presidency. That's what, that's what people mean when they say the next Jill Stein, just for reference. I'm gonna play this out so we have Lethal on board. Well, if they chain a bunch of things together here, wait, do they not have any phoenixes? Wow, they're unlucky. There's like actual no phoenixes in like the top th half of their deck. Yeah, definitely hurt myself. Data, data is great. My food is gone. Uh, I'm actually going to play this and then make the food it creates a 3-3 three, three right away. So that way I can have three, three lethal attackers next turn. Yeah. No, they had Phoenix. This is game three. They definitely have Phoenixes. Opponent threw dust in our food. Rude. Rude. Believe it or not, chat, I think our pile of good cards is pretty reasonable. Yeah, I I agree. I I part of me wonders if like Fauna Shaman's supposed to be a four of, but like if you draw extra Fauna Shamans, you just discard them to the first one. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not unhappy with the Fauna Shaman so far. I've boarded them out because I don't think they're great when we're boarding in Cry against aggressive decks, but I want to play against like a mid-range deck or like a control. I want to play against like another mid-range deck or like a combo deck where tutoring up like enchantment hate is good. I, I agree that the assumptions made that Jill Stein is solely responsible playing spoiler is a little bit tinfoil heady. I agree with that, that assessment. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that, Synthero. Like, the food package, the food package plus other playable magic cards is probably going to end up with a reasonable deck in most spots.
Why aren't more Democrats running on the promise of making America's voting system more acceptable? What do you, what do you mean? What does making it more acceptable mean? Access, do you mean accessible? My food has been sealed away. Huh? So I'm doing this. Am I trophying this search? I think I'm trophying this search. Their average card quality goes down if I get rid of the search and like I eventually need to get rid of the search just gonna make a lot of card advantage. Oh yeah, most most of the demo the Democratic candidates are are pro abolishing the Electoral College. That's that that's almost that's almost all of them, Nifty. The problem here is they can activate this castle. They could also have a sweeper here. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. So the original purpose of the electoral college was that when the United States was founded, it wasn't logistically feasible to count individual votes. Like you couldn't just go around and count up votes from people. Yeah, but they, that that's a start, John. Like a, a, a really good saying that I would encourage you to take to heart is don't let perfect be the enemy of good. So you're right that all the current climate change plans are adaptation or mitigation because that's where things have to start. You have you have to start there. You can't just jump to like getting rid of it all together. Our goose is cooked, chat. At least we got a couple of lands to get here. You can't fix the bathtub without mopping up the wet floor first. Yeah, exactly. Like one of one of the big uh, like what about isms or cop outs when people discuss things is people will frequently be like, well, the thing you've suggested doesn't address every systematical problem that we have. So your solution's not good because it doesn't fix everything. <laughs> sure. I'm like that. That's just like not how things work in reality. Sure, yeah, a bunch of things, a bunch of, the military budget is way too high. That's definitely true. The, mil the military also puts out an absurd amount of carbon. Let's kill this. Veto. Yep. So, I think I just hostage take her here, right? If they have a sweeper, this ends up pretty poorly for me. But if they don't have a sweeper, we end up pretty good. What I don't like about ranked choice is you can game the system. Citation needed. All 
great. Their last card's not a sweeper. A lot of quirks about how the American system works are a result of the fact that there are basically zero, maybe one, other examples of representative government in the modern world, and none of them were thoroughly codified, so they sort of had to roll the dice. Yeah, I agree. I'm like, something that I think a lot of people don't acknowledge enough is that, like, like, the people that wrote the United States Constitution and, like, the a lot of the following amendments were, like, people that thought dueling in the streets with pistols was an appropriate way to, to solve your problems at one point. So like, yeah, while they while they got a lot right, they also they also got a number of things very wrong. Maybe I'm not even supposed to recast this here, because now they get to bounce this, but it keeps hostage taker in play. Control shell? I don't know. Pistols are not the correct choice. Uh, and fairly frequently, pistol duels are not are not the appropriate solution. Huh? Do I just murder this? I think I just murder this. I invite you to change your ways. They're getting low-ish, but they have this to fog for a turn and then to jump back up to 10 the following turn. Yep. Vomit. Those are pretty good three last cards, chat. Pretty, pretty good last three cards. That was a turn. Now that looks like a note to me, so everybody just come and see. It's a plus one, not a minus three. How to get past Watsy's R&D, hey? Dear. You are an elk, and you are an elk. Everybody's an elk. If you haven't experienced the Oka rap, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Get on it. Everybody, everybody needs a little bit more Oka rap in their lives. I'm going to play this out because having an even amount of mana here is good for making and eating food. I should have waited till post-combat to play it out, probably. That's fine. They are getting to scry two every turn, but we're getting close here. There's no go on top of our deck. If they hit a time wipe, they get to pick their grace up and, like, clear our board. They also haven't played a sweeper yet. I guess they have set they played subtle. I wonder if they have non-subtle sweepers in their deck. Sure. I am not making this up as I go. 
Don't veto me, bro. Open your heart to the magic. Okay, so they have a seal away. I feel like I'm just supposed to make a 3-3 and pass here. Leaving, leaving the Tefri in play makes a sweeper a lot scarier. All right, I love diving into politics with y'all, but we've 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 hemmed on it for a little bit too long. So let's let's push off of it for now. Reminder that if you're a sub, you should pop on into the Discord channel, and there is a political dark place channel in there where you're always welcome to link fact-based thoughts and reasonings about any 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 types of things you'd like to see and discuss so i just got back we have to keep going sorry dude you're late dude man where's a hydroid crisis when you need one chat where's a hydroid crisis when you need one So they can seal away a token. They can make a token themselves here. I think I need to kill this Tefri. But I guess they have enough to seal away and make a token. So I can't even kill the Tefri if I wanted to this turn. I guess I could make... I can't kill the Tefri. I guess I can kill the Tefri if I like do this and like... Smash all four of these into here. On a different note, what's a good webcam for budget streaming? Logitech C920. That's actually what I'm using right now. It's just good in general. Bionic Quail, thanks for the quarter of year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday wherever you're at in the world. Oh yeah, the C922 is the the slightly upgraded model of that same line, I think. There's a search for Ascanta. That's going to put us in the ground very quickly. I think I'm going to eat one of these pieces of food at this point to keep my health total a little bit high with this angel. Spells are overrated yet. They're through three three mana Tefries. Well, I can't steal the angel. I can't steal the angel while it's a five power creature chat. That's not how Oko works. It's honestly impressive to me how many people complain about this card and don't actually know it's text box. It's kinda it's kinda wild. gonna find a time wipe we're just gonna die take their search yeah exactly right on Let's skip to the is growth chamber guardian historic playable yeah almost certainly poor little goose if we just like 
hit one of our two creases, we could we could end up being okay. So like, I'm gonna keep playing this game because we have infinite lands and two creases in our deck that could like swing us back in here. They don't actually have that many resources. My opponent like also only has 23 cards left in their deck. Well, well, shoot. We didn't, we didn't really have the ability to play around that. So like, there's nothing, nothing worth discussing. I forgot to make a food there, didn't I? You know what? I'm not done yet. I'm actually down on clock here. That's unfortunate. the best Esper sideboard card to deal with Field and Historic. Unmoored Ego. Gross. They're going to run back to Prison Realm. Really? Okay. All right. I mean, like... Like, these games of Magic don't feel good to play, but, like, all things considered, like, we're not in that terrible of a spot. We need to, like, they need a way to actually win the game. And, like, again, we're just, like, a single Hydroid Crisis rip away from being in it. The fact that I missed a food and we're gonna have one less tool for Oko here could be a really big deal. They probably don't have that many counter spells in their deck. I can no longer stand by and watch. No time for a break. Great. Down to 16 cards in their deck. Yeah, I mean, if you listen to me, if you actually listen to what I said when I talked about Ego, we frequently talked about how it's a card that's fine when your opponent's decks have one key card and that's all they rely on. Other Magic players frequently wanted to jam Ego into decks that it wasn't good at, against decks that it wasn't good against. So they have enough mana here, they could activate Castle and still absorb me. So rather than just jam Questing Beast into their absorb that I know about, because I have so much mana and my opponent's deck does not have discard spells in it, I'm going to wait until hopefully I can have a double spell turn where one of my two key spells can resolve. Yeah, and for people wondering why I didn't just attack them, they're just like, they're nowhere near dead. Sadness on the stack resolves. Thanks for the brand new tier one sub. Still, still waiting to see how I die. Don't worry, I got this. Wonder if they're just gonna like start activating castle. Yeah, activating castles while they while they deck me with death free is probably reasonable. I think that's a good suggestion, this is John. Vana, Vana Shaman has not been good. This is it may not been good in this match. And this is one of the matchups I kinda wanted to see her in. If we untap with Shaman, it gets creases. There's a good good chance we don't untap with this. Here. 
So they ran back the play that we were doing a bunch earlier where they bounced their prison realm with my planeswalker under it. Give it back. I lose one. They replay the other one. Yep. This is, again, a great example of why Fauna Shaman's kind of mediocre. If Fauna Shaman was a real piece of card advantage that wasn't susceptible to something like that, if it was just, like, a trail of breadcrumbs or a hydroid crisis, we'd probably be really in this game. I think Hypnotic Specter is worse than Thief of Sanity, Bob. I think Trail of Breadcrumbs is a reasonable suggestion. I wouldn't hate trying, like, three Trail of Breadcrumbs. And then, like, some three Trail of Breadcrumbs and then some number of, uh... Another Hydra Increase is probably fine. The Realm Cloak Giant's a good way to actually kill us here. How many man lands do I have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You got it. Cards, please. I think a reasonable deck could be built that plays Thief of Sanity and Hypnotic Spectre. Nah, I don't think Hypnotic Spectre is very good in a format without Dark Ritual. Like, the Hypnotic Spectres of old that people used to, like, kill people with were, bet were played on turn one via Dark Ritual. Remember, remember when I said we just needed a Hydroid Crisis chat? Because the first Hydroid Crisis draws another one. Remember I missed making a food this game too? That could end up being super relevant. Like I should have been able to play this castle and gain six here. I just couldn't. I wonder if there's even useful cards left in their deck. They have seven cards left at this point. Are we through four big Tefries? One, two, three. They're through, we're through three big Tefries. They could have a fourth big Tefri here. I don't think we're dead this turn, though, and then I get to untap and hydrate Graces again. I think I'm down on clock. Yeah, I have 16 minutes, and they have 18 minutes. I need to try and play a little quicker. You need to take a time out. They just tucked himself right back in. Sure. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I can do this for 7. Or for 14, X is 14. There's a very real chance that we don't have enough cards in our deck left to win the game. Welcome to the feast. There's a, there's a non-zero chance that we don't have enough threats left to actually win the game. Do I have Murderous Riders left in my deck? I'm out of trophies. I think I'm out of Murderous Riders too. Oh, I messed up. I should have played this pre-combat because when they, oh, they just have Subtle, sure. If they had Seal Away, I could destroy the Seal Away.
Yeah, I'm not sure we can actually beat them just tucking Tefri at this point. Because I'm out of... I believe I'm out of ways. If this lives, we'll get to un use it when we untap. But I believe we're out of ways to kill Tefri off the table. There's only, there's only three Murderous Riders in our deck. And I think there's only two trophies in our main. So let's find out here, shall we? A couple of Raskas. Wow! Now that, now that was pod racing. That was. All right, sure, I'll take it. Don't ask, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, chat. Don't look. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. That was game one. That was, this would be the last match with this deck before we play some red white. All right, so elves are an easy out here. We have four trophies in. We want this extra wreck sage. I think Bronthodon's probably not good enough. I think Wicked Wolf's good because it protects itself from sweepers when we have food going. I think I want some wolves because of the indestructible. I guess that's probably not good enough. You know, I just lose Shaman. I could cut these and like one of these. That seems fine. Let's try this. All right, I'm gonna try and play quickly so we can get ahead on clock. Cause if we go to a game three, clock could really matter here. Fifteen twenty to seventeen minutes. It feels good to be on the right side of that card. Feels feels good to be on this side of that card, for sure. How is Veil so legal in this format? It is legal by simple virtue of the fact that they haven't implemented a ban list. Oh, they have that. All right, let's just cut that out. Let's nip, nip that right in the bud, shall we? I, I expect Veil not to be long for this world. How do you assassinate a castle? Lots of goblins. Love it. Slow ride. Take it easy. Do, 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 do. 
Getting getting a food into play actually makes the game go slower for us. Which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Game seem chill without he who must not be named on the table. Oh, oh, Oko. Oh, Oko. Suppose they're gonna Aether Gust this in response, but I think that's fine. Since Historic doesn't have tournaments or challenges or PTQs, I wonder how they extract reasonable metrics. Just people playing on the ladder, I'd assume. Look at look at rank data, yeah, that would be my assumption. Okay, if they don't have another counter spell here. Trophy gets to kill this. Could have another veto though. They can seal away the wolf, that's true. Early as Kanta could make all the difference here. Compared to what they what happened last game. Went a very long time without them having search. Instead of me telling you your line is bad, tell me why it's right, Tehidra. I'm really surprised they don't have time wipe in their build. They did just bin settle. The odds of you being able to successfully attack the Tefri down while your opponent is on a bunch of cards in hand and a bunch of mana is incredibly low. I agree. Settle, settle. There are games where like you have no choice and you have to make them have the settle. But in in general, I think settle is a good example of a card that's well designed that offers a lot of player agency. It def definitely allows both players to make a lot of decisions. 
They're gonna dig for a veto here in response, I'd assume. Bomb it. Oh, I could have gotten a tap plan there. I miscounted my mana. I think I'd rather hound this one. That was uncalled for. Yeah, I should have gotten a tap plan. Would have been more efficient because I'm only going to use four mana this turn regardless. No time for a break. This might be a bad idea. Well, they missed with Ascanta. I think I'm going to chump block with this Gilded Goose here and then draw a card with Castle Lockwain, trying to find a trophy or a... Uh... Trying to find a way to end this. Should have played my land first. I took an extra damage there because I didn't play my land first. Keep up the pace. Well, we've almost got back up on clock. They're up 40 seconds now as opposed to the two minutes they were when we started. Makes sense to back it up here since we're down on clock. No, I don't think so. I think uh, I think I can play fast enough at this point that we can get back up. This is still game two, yeah. I used the castle at instant speed, so there's a Veil of Summer in my deck I could have drawn. It's been a while since we've timed since we've timed someone out on arena. Might be time to oh, are they about to emblem? With each turn of the clock, your reality will crumble. Might be a bad idea. Now what? I think I'm going to make them kill me. It's been a while since I made some one timeout, and uh, I kind of really want to beat this blue-white control player. So I'm in it. In it to win it. Come at me. So they're up eight seconds on clock. That's not going to be true for much longer. Also, continuing to play this game out can mean that, uh, like, if I'm just slightly ahead on clock, we get a better chance for winning, winning game three that way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Does Keys have any way to win if you ego their Jaces? Yeah, they just deck you with their triggers. Two, 
two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, right, right back on top, please. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, cycling with the guy is a real thing, Doom. Hey, go read. Thanks for the nine months of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Yeah, if they, if they didn't have, if they hadn't emblemed the Tefri, we'd actually probably be in a pretty reasonable spot. Uh, you could not veil to stop, uh, you could not veil to stop this emblem. Emblems are colorless. As you, as you will put it. Only time will yeah, we won, we won game one. This is game two. And like when we started this game, we were down two minutes on clock and now we're up a minute on clock. So like, you know. Oh, can y'all not see their clock? Yeah, it's underneath my thing, isn't it? Oh, Zach lets them seal away, sure. I don't care, that's not, that's not the axis we're winning on anyways. We are a thousand percent losing this game. We are, however, not a thousand percent losing on the clock. So let's go. Really should have seen that coming. Burn, baby, burn. Counting down now. Burn, baby, burn. Because I didn't want to tap it again and lose it to another seal away.
hardly my worst defeat. Hardly my worst defeat. I know my responsibility. Uh, the opponent has six minutes and twenty seconds on their clock. And when this when this game started, we were down two minutes, so again with this emblem, this we're not gonna win this game, but it's also probably going to take them five minutes to win it. I know it's not terribly good TV, but they're playing blue-white control, so they deserve this. Listen, when you when you play blue-white control chat, this is what you're signing up for, okay? Look, they're gonna they're gonna kill us in two more turns here. Lies, this is great TV, sure. We're we're just competing on a different axis than which we usually compete on, right? Y'all are, y'all are masochists. You like this way more than me. All right, sweet. So we gained, we, we gained three and a half minutes that game. Is what, that's what, that's what we were playing for. We gained three and a half minutes. When, when I concluded I could no longer win that game, we were down a minute on clock and we finished two and a half minutes up on clock. So... The metric, the metric of what I was trying to go for happened there. Yeah, they have five and a half minutes left. Yeah, they run out of time, they just lose. This is a teaser of red, white, land destruction. Yeah, basically. They want an extra Wicked Wolf for their stupid angels? I don't think so. All right, turn two, Oko, let's go. That's great. So I'm gonna play a tap land on one because they don't have any one mana counters in their deck and I wanna give them a chance to like draw a veto for their turn. So I want, I want the best chance to take veto away from them. Well, they don't have blue mana. Uh oh, huh? Well, their hand needs a lot of help, so let's take their search away. Never, never didn't have it, as you will. Why would they play this? They just want to cantrip it? Weird. That they, like, they know about this questing beast. They saw it off the one spot time. They like draw prison realm here, but even that doesn't seem particularly good. Yeah, they may, they may just be panicking because they're low on clock too. That happens too. When it comes down to the wire, people make medium plays. Yeah, that's true too. They could have forgotten what of its part of its keyword suit. And like, they're kind of like clocked into playing this, uh, this Lyra here. Or that. Greatness at any cost yet. Invite you to change your ways. Oh, we might we might actually win this without decking them, huh? Surely you must be famished. It might be right to play a murderous rider here, honestly. You must beat them by time. You're not allowed to deal lethal. You have to beat them by tapping them out. You look is enchanting. 
It's enchanting. I'm gonna sack this forest, draw a card. I got you, Ostin. What just happened? What just happened? Why is my card stuck here and why is my timer going down? Y'all can still see me, right? Y'all can still see me? I'm still here? I'm still here? Am I still here? All right, I uh, haven't dropped any frames. All right, reconnect. These people are great by their stuff. I'm great by my stuff. You really are, Bob. Okie doke. Oh, you know what? I should have shocked. I should have shocked to play the goose last turn. Because if I would have had a food here, Oko would have killed them, right? That's a mistake. Listen, my client just crashed. I don't want to hear it. What you got? 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 Didn't need the clock. Oh, all right. Look at that. Pulled us up. Pulled us up by the mythic. Hashtag no longer a percentage gamer chat. No longer a percentage gamer. That was good TV. It's pretty, pretty good TV. I was underwhelmed by the Fauna Shamans of this build. I was not expecting, I had low expectations going in and I feel like they hit my low expectations. I think I would cut these. I think I would cut the cute fun ofs we have because we had those. I would play the last Murderous Rider. I would play a third Hydrate Crisis. Uh, what was a trail of trail of crumbs? Would have been more biddies for the clock kill good TV. I do what I can. I think I think some trail of breadcrumbs probably sounds okay. How much does it cost to buy a pleb dragon? And if I donated, would you buy it? Uh, thirty four hundred gems is seventeen dollars, I think. And yes. It could be a third Vraska. Honestly, Bob, I think it could just be like a third trophy too. Like having more ways to kill a Reclamation doesn't seem bad. And that gets me a card out of the sideboard so I can play a third stroke here. On the back of that, what's the best game of Magic you've ever played? Single game or set of three? I don't know if I have any particular standouts. The, um... Game one of match, I think it was match five of the last Twitch Rivals was very good. Arena might be better than Trail. Maybe I like that Trail gives us selection and like our entire deck is permanence, right? And like this card can come down right away. It also like works with Oko and Wicked Wolf and Goose too, which is nice. I think I would try Trail before I played Phyrexian Arena. JMP. All right, well, buy a Pleb Dragon. I would like the record to reflect that the ones you actually pay money for are better, but we will, we will buy the Pleb Dragon. Who's a good little dragon whelp? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. 
All right, uh, I'm gonna hit a quick ad roll, and when I when I get back, we are gonna take ourselves and plunge way back down into the into the percentages by trying to make red white land destruction work. So. <laughs> 